Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mesa Troll Tips and Tricks. If this is your first time here, my name is Phil, and I teach people how to set up and run a Mazak CNC lathe while programming it with Mesa Troll. If you have suggestions for future videos, or if there's something special you want to see, be sure to let me know down in the comments. In this video, I'm going to go over the common types of programming errors that may pop up when programming with Mesa Troll. Some of these errors are obvious and easy to correct, and some are a bit more tricky to interpret what the machine is trying to tell you is wrong. Alright, let's get started. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new dummy program. So, push the left button, go to Program, Program File, and we're going to use work number 81. Work number 81. And again, aluminum, 3.25. Workpiece length, it's going to be uh, two inches long. Spindle RPM limit is 2,000. And we turn on the coolant. And so I'm just gonna do some dummy geometry up here. So bar stock, out. Cutting point on X is going to be our stock diameter, 3.25. And I'll put in a rough tool of tool 2. And finish it with tool 2. So if we do a linear, and then give it a chamfer of 100 thousandths, and a diameter of 3.25, but a length of less than a hundred thousandths, ninety thousandths. Now we have an error that pops up. Scale input, illegal corner definition. So this is where the machine is trying to tell you where the programming error occurs. So don't push reset, but go back to program and down here in the parentheses box, it says 81, which is program number 81. Number two is process number two. And number one, line number one, there's an illegal corner definition. Basically, the chamfer is longer than our length of our part. So that one is kind of obvious. Change it to 20 thousandths, hit reset, and then hit figure check, and we have a real short diameter program. So let's change this to uh, 3.2, one inch long, and then linear, 100 thousandths, 3.25, two inches long. Again, we got the illegal corner definition. So this one is for a different reason. So program 81, process two, line number two. So I have plenty of length on the Z, but because this is 3.2 on the X and it goes to 3.250, the maximum chamfer that I can put in there without interfering is 25 thousandths large. Anything larger than 25 thousandths, and it's going to give me this illegal corner definition. So 0.025, reset, figure check, and now I have 25 thousandths corner and cutting back to the front of the part. So let's run it back to uh, 2.1 inches and see what error comes up. So it, it goes past the length of my part. So it didn't bring up an error. Let, let's go to the program toolpath. Program check, check continue. And now we have an error that says shape out of material limit. And that's where this came into play. So it drew the 
part for us, but when we go to run it, we don't have enough stock because we only specified our stock length was two inches long and we tried turning it back to 2.1 inches long. So reset, let's change this to three inches so we won't have that error anymore. Scale input, and now it's off the screen for now. So now here's another error. Three point three inches. If we're trying to machine a diameter that's larger than our stock size, we're going to get an error. Illegal cutting point. Go back to program, and it says program number eighty one, process two, line two, has a problem. And because this is larger than this, we're going to get that alarm. So hit reset. So I'll change this to 3.3. And then I'll show you the alarm's going to change. So again, we got an illegal cutting point. But this time it's program 81, process 2, line number 1. Even though the error occurs on line number two, basically what it's saying is this cut point here on line zero is larger than our maximum stock size. So reset 3.25, 3.25. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to a number that's shorter than the line above it, like 0.8. So watch what error comes up now. So right button, figure check, reverse shape contour. So what that's trying to tell you, program 81, process 2, line number 2, this is a reverse shape than the line above it. So we start at zero on Z, and then go to one inch, and then we went back to 800 thousandths, and it will not let you do that. You need to program all in one direction when you're doing Mazatrol. If we have, if we're programming in this direction, like using uh, a right-handed tool and machining in this direction, then our starting point on Z would be one inch or, or greater. And then we can machine over to one inch and then 800 thousandths and the machine's going to like that. So it starts here and goes that direction and there's a chamfer. So let's change it to something smaller where we can see it. So three inches and 3.2. So now we got a diameter and a chamfer and it's going in this direction because of our start point. So those are some common uh, programming errors that'll come up. And again, the biggest thing what I'm trying to explain is when the alarm comes up, it tells you within the very line that you're programming where the error is at. So now let me show you an error that's harder to find because the machine calculates the endpoint. So race so what I want to do is I want to reuse an old example this is uh, demo part number two and instead of programming the ball all the way over to the front I want to program just to this intersect point at 1.8 inches and then turn a diameter across 
3.25. So I don't want to create the ball, I just want to create this radius at the front with the diameter going across. So what we're going to do is push convex radius, starting corner, zero, starting point on X is zero, starting point on Z is zero. The final point on X is going to be 1.8 inches. And the final point on Z is going to be this point right here that's not dimension. So we're going to put a question mark in there. And then the radius is 1.250. This is the diameter, but this is the radius of the ball. So 1.250. And now when we're doing the ball, we have to give it a center. So push center, arc center X is zero, and arc center Z from the face of the part to the middle of this ball is 1.250. Intersect position of start point. Start point is already determined at zero, zero. So we can go to the next field intersect position of final point. If we push the left button, it'll calculate the point way over here. But if we push the right button, it'll calculate the point over on the right hand side because 1.8 inches crosses that sphere in two places. So we push the right button right here. And now we do linear 1.8 and we're going to machine it back 3.25 with a radius of 200 thousandths. Shape end. And we're going to push calculate. So push right button, push calculate. And it calculated a point of 0.3825. So right button, figure check and it says reverse shape contour and it says program 81 line number 2 or process 2 line 1 we got a reverse shape contour so what's going on is even though the machine calculated this position there is a rounding error that's going on so the machine will only spit out a four decimal place number, but this number is calculated in the machine to greater than four decimal places, probably six or seven decimal places, and then it rounded it down to three point or point three eight two five. So what it's thinking is it thinks that this radius is opened up and the front of the part with the radius opened up the middle of that radius is actually further back in Z by less than a tenth and that makes the machine thinks it has a reverse shape contour so what you need to do is again this is a rounding error going on so it calculated a point of 0.3825. So hit reset. Type in manually 0.3826. So change it by one tenth in the positive direction and see what happens. So right button, figure check, scale. and it drew the part. And again, that's due to a rounding error of where that starting position is. This issue happens even in the newest Smooth X control. It won't draw the part because it calculates the point further than the rounding, than the machine will display it. And if it, the last digit is a four, it rounds it down, but when it's trying to draw it, it won't draw it. So this happens a lot when you're using uh, radius 
going into a diameter or something like that and you calculate the center point. Basically change it and add a tenth to your Z number to get over that issue. So the chamfer one is an easy one to recognize, but when the machine calculates the point for you, that's where it starts getting frustrated. And again, change it by a tenth in the positive direction and see what happens. And those are some of the common errors that come up when programming with Mazatrol. If you like what you see, go ahead and push that subscribe button and click the bell so you won't miss any videos we have coming out. Also, if you guys have suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.